Hello everyone, and welcome back to Danjo Trains. Today I want to talk about this flat car that I just designed. See, I realized I don't have enough freight rolling stock in my collection, and I happen to really like freight trains. I want to start off with designing something simple, and I happen to have a locomotive that could really use some western themed wagons. As usual, I designed this flat car in Bricklink Studio. Surprisingly, there are only 137 LEGO parts in this design, making it minimalistic and inexpensive to build. The 1x2 jumper plates on the top surface are there to hold the barrels, or minifigures as you'll see in a moment. Overall, I'm very happy with how the design turned out. The wagon is 8 wide, but simple enough that it would look good with either 6 wide or 8 wide trains. In particular, I'm fond of the siding that fills in the empty gap between the wheels. What do you think of the design? I'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. As for the wheels, I use these 4x4 square turntables attached to 4x4 round plates. They're quite robust, and the round plate easily spins. Now, before we move on to some testing, I want to have a little fun. One of my childhood games was Turtles in Time for the Super Nintendo, and there was this one level where the Ninja Turtles were on this western train, so... I decided to make a little action scene. Here's a quick clip of me playing on an emulator for comparison. Back to the model, I tried to capture the action of the dash attacks as well as tossing the robot ninjas around. Unfortunately, I don't have Donatello or Raphael as minifigures yet, but if I get them, I'll definitely have to make a second wagon. I have one more comment before we get to testing. My Lone Ranger train was dead after sitting a while on a shelf, so I had to switch out the batteries. I hate doing this. I really wish I could just plug a charger directly into the powered up battery hub I'm open to cost-effective solutions if anyone has some suggestions. With a fresh set of batteries, it's time to test the flat car on some curves. One final test, how fast can this thing go with fresh batteries? Looks like a runaway train out of a western film. And no derailing at max speed, perfect. That's all for today, I really hope you enjoyed this video. In the future, I'll try to feature more rolling stock videos like this one as well as updates to the locomotive series and the train layout. Remember to like and subscribe, it really helps support the channel. See you next time!